Okay, so here's another problem for stability. Here we don't we're not dealing with case or anything like that. The question is just to find um, to determine if the question is I mean if the uh, equation is stable or not, if the system is stable or not. So what we need to do is just use um, our H criterion and see if the, that column is all positive or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that up. So we have coefficient, the highest one is 4 here. So we're going to start from there. So we have S4, S3, S2, S1, and S0. Okay. All right, so even numbers, uh, even coefficient uh, ones. So we have 4 and 2 and 0. So we have uh, even 4, I mean not 4 but 1, excuse me. The coefficient, not the order uh, number, but the, uh, the coefficients here. So I have a 1, 6, and s to the power 0. Let me put that in there kind of imaginary here and then this is a 1 so you could clearly see what we're doing here so even uh, 4 um, so 1 6 and then 2 okay odd 4 and 8 and there's nothing so I can put a 0 here this I'm adding it because there's nothing else. Okay, so it's zero. All right, so we can go ahead and uh, multiply for this term over here. We're not putting six, remember that. We're multiplying out like we would do if we were to calculate determinants and then um, divide by this right here. And then you do the same thing here and we divide by that. So let's start with the first one. Um, so I have 4 times 6 is 24. Let me use different calls here because that can get confusing. Uh, let's use uh, green. This would be that. This over 8. Okay, so for the yellow, we have 24 minus 8 over 4. So I have 24 minus 8 over 4. Okay? And I still have numbers. Remember the previous examples, we only we were not dealing with things like this uh, on this side right here. But it's the same process. So um, I have a coefficient here and I need another one over here. Which would be the green product. So it would be um, uh, 2 times 8 over 8. So that's 2, uh, 16, minus 0, 6 times 0, 0, over 8. Okay. So this gives me 24 minus 8, that's 16, 16 over 4, that's 4. Um, I can go ahead and write 4 on top of it. Um, how do I do this? Um, I guess let me put uh, let me put it. I don't want to confuse. Let me put let me use a different color. So this is four. Okay, and this is two. This is equal to two. Right. So I have four, eight, and eight, four and a two. So I can calculate this one over here as well. Right. So that would be. 4 times 8, 2 times 4, over 4. So 32 minus 8 over 4. Okay, so that's um, 32 minus 8, that's uh, 24 over 4, that's a 6, so that's a 6 over here. That's a 6 over here. And since we don't have anything else over here, it is 0 times 0, so this is also a 0 over here. And finally, we carry over the um, 
whatever we have for our s to the power 0 and that's a 2 in this case and if you were to verify it actually look at this 6 times 2 is 12 12 over 6 is 2 right okay so let's clean uh, clean this up a little bit so I have um, for stability we look at the columns over here so we have a 1 we have a 4 we have a 4 we have a 6 and we have 2 all of them are positive so our answer to the question here determining if it's stable or not the question is yes it is stable and that's pretty much it if, if we had a negative number somehow somewhere then it's not and I'm sure uh, for the exam that probably would be a question right um, A or B or something like we don't know maybe I don't know but A B and then the, the choice would be either stable or unstable and it's for us to check it out and the answer would be yes okay um, that's it thanks